Hello everyone. Um, if you haven't noticed, I've been working on the Memory Lane Collection by uh, Masterpieces. I did three brand new puzzles. I've got a time lapse coming tomorrow along with this video. But these are the puzzles. The 300 pieces. And I think they're all by Alan Gaians, G I A N A S, Gaianas. But they're very pretty. And the boxes are really nice. I'll show you them. Okay, so here are the boxes. These are the three that I did. enjoyed them all. They were about an hour and a half for me to put together, but I'm rather new to puzzling again. But the boxes are very nice and sturdy. I love the graphics. They have images on the sides. And on the back, it tells all about the artist here. It shows you the actual puzzle size. And then in the box, you get one of these posters, which I like. Now, it does come with a lot of puzzle dust. And when you put it together, the pieces don't lay completely flat which is one of the things that I really do not like. They only cost $8, so really it's not terrible. And they were fun to do. Here's what the pieces are like. They're nice and thick. Okay, so here is the puzzle piece. And it's pretty thick. I pulled out, this is a Ravensburger puzzle piece. So you can see the comparison. They're pretty close. And then this is a Seco. So they're about, uh, it's a little bit thicker, but they're a nice thick puzzle piece. They're glossy. The picture looks fantastic when it's done, but it doesn't lay completely flat is my only real gripe with it. Now, the one thing with these boxes is, yes, they're very sturdy, but I actually got this one at the store during the pandemic when you couldn't get puzzles very good. And, I mean, they're not as nice as, like, the Ravensburgers. They're, they're nice, thick cardboard. These are a little bit better than some of the puzzles that I've bought. Like, at the Dollar Bill store, they're really flimsy, but, I mean, this is still good but it does smush. But I do love the size and everything. So that's my take on this puzzle collection. I have more masterpiece puzzles I'm going to do. 
that aren't these big ones. These are the um, Easy Grip. I don't know if the other ones are different or not. But for the price point, I think they're really worth it. It's just, I wouldn't buy these if you're going to um, glue them together to hang on your wall. They'd be very hard to get to lay flat. But if you're just doing them for enjoyment of putting the puzzle together, they're great. So that's my take on it. If you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you as one. I hope to get better at doing these reviews. I'm, I'm sure I will over time. But this is my first one. And like I said, I'm a novice at these puzzles. And I'm a novice at doing puzzle reviews. But I figured I would start doing them for people like me that like to go and see what I'm buying before I buy. So... I will see you all soon. Bye.